Now to a world first, an Australian breakthrough that's already changed one life and offers hope for thousands more. Tourette's syndrome is a disorder that simply by its nature can leave some sufferers on the outer of society and often in a downward spiral. But a new brain operation is opening up a different world. Tonight, Laura Sparks has the remarkable story of Jamie Furlonger and his quest to find a better life. It's a miracle for me to have this lifted off my shoulders. It's not often you get to witness a miracle. I can't believe it. I can't. Tonight, Jamie Furlonger takes us on a journey from the depths of his despair... Completely taken over my life. To, you know, I mean, going out, it's, it's difficult. ..to the elation of a new life. This is so good. This is perfect. At 21, Jamie should be on the cusp of an exciting adult life. Instead, he's trapped in a body he can't control. I have the vocal tics, that noise there. I have the, the tics in my arms, my neck, my legs. Jamie has Tourette's syndrome, a debilitating neurological disorder afflicting more than 200,000 Australians. I got teased so much every day, constantly, from the time I walked into the school to the time I left. Apart from the emotional distress, Tourette's also causes physical exhaustion. The vocal noises, it hurts my throat, and yeah, it makes my muscles, my arms, my legs really sore. I've had to go on antibiotics because of the pain. I couldn't imagine dealing with Tourette's for the rest of my life, no. I couldn't any longer and it'd... Yeah, I'd never leave the house. But a scientific breakthrough in another area is now being used for the first time on Tourette's. This is my hope, this is my way out. Um, this is my cure. Deep brain stimulation works by switching off the parts of the brain that cause movement disorders. Already, it's successfully used on patients suffering from Parkinson's disease. When I first heard of deep brain stimulation, I looked straight at my mother and I said, can I have that? And that was it. From then on, we just pushed and pushed and pushed. Jamie's persistence paid off. Today, he's at Royal Melbourne Hospital. Neurosurgeon Dr Richard Bitter from Precision Neurosurgery. I'm going to make an, an incision over here. Yep. I'm going to tunnel the wire down there to your chest and we'll okay. pop the battery in there, OK? So how does it work? Two electrodes are implanted deep in the parts of Jamie's brain that doctors think cause Tourette's. The electrodes are connected by wires running down his neck and into his chest to a rechargeable battery placed just under his skin. It works by passing a, a very fine electrical current to very specific areas of the brain. This is the actual battery that creates the electrical current that then travels up these wires up into the brain. So it's almost robotic. And just like a TV, you can turn it on and off using a remote control. Very uh, state of the art, it's all very artificial. Uh, it's, it's cutting edge technology that we're taking advantage of here. We're, putting all of that in the human body and uh, using it to our best advantage. The operation lasts nearly six hours. Jamie's surgery went very well. The, um, the battery's in, it's all wired up, and it's just a case of waiting until he wakes up and turning the whole system on to see what kind of a, an effect that has. Jamie soon wakes up, but the battery that he hopes will change his life hasn't been switched on. Oh, good, it all went well. For Jamie's mum, Anna, the anxious wait is too much. We're going to turn oh. it on in a minute and we'll gradually wind the current oh. up, OK? Oh. You probably won't oh. change straight away like that. It'll probably be a fairly gradual thing, so it may take a oh. minute or so before you start to feel an effect. As the nurse increases the voltage, listen out for Jamie's grunting and watch his oh. arm. 2.2, 2.3, 2.4... Uh, Have you noticed a difference now? Yeah, oh, I can't so hear. Good. Your arm's not twitching. You're not clearing your throat. Your head's not twitching. How does that feel? Bloody beautiful. Good. Excellent. 
All right. More roll. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? All right. It's a heart-stopping moment. All right, that's pretty good. Turn your palms up. Close your eyes. All right, so there's no weakness there. That's great. How do you feel now? <laughs> that's great. You probably can. <laughs> I feel great. That's really that good, isn't it? That sounds real, eh? <laughs> It's the first time I haven't seen you with no Tourette's. No, I reckon. Since you were three. That's what? 18 years. Oh, oh mate. Ma. That's so good. What does it feel like, Jamie? Oh, not... it feels amazing. Like, there's no word there. Is it rela a relaxing feeling? Yeah, I can finally just relax. Lay here still. That's fantastic. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. You know, we owe you so much. No, you don't. That is the most satisfying part, to, to, to be there to see the effect that this is potentially having on, on someone. Jamie can now live a normal life. He can go down the street. He won't get stared at constantly. He won't get laughed at. He won't get teased. What will this open up for you? A new life. Completely turn the page. <laughs> That is Laura Sparks with quite a story on Jamie Furlong and we'll make sure that we follow his progress for you.